Skytook police are asking for your help identifying whoever is responsible for vandalizing the American Legion post. Letters have been torn off of plaques, obscenities written on a door there. Our Vincent Hill introduces us to two veterans who say what's happening is more than just missing letters and ugly words. There used to sit five plaques representing all the armed forces, but two had to be removed because of vandals. It's real hurtful to veterans to have something like this happen. John Yox knows about pain. He was in Vietnam and served his country for many years. My military service consists of 20 years from 1965 to 1985. Now he's not talking about physical pain. He's talking about the emotional pain caused by what someone has been doing to American Legion Post 131. This morning, I, uh, we noticed a uh, an obscene word etched into the sign on the back door of the building. Two News has chosen not to show what was on the door, but it wasn't just the door, and this isn't the first time the Legion's building has been targeted by vandals. Back in the March time frame, we started noticing that the uh, letters, certain letters were disappearing from the memorials that one of our generous le Legionnaires put uh, together for uh, commemoration of our five services, armed services, uh, around the flagpole. Each of those plaques represents a branch of the armed services, and it, it holds a very special meaning to veterans uh, for that reason. Especially veteran Randy Seawrate. He handmade each plaque. It took uh, almost a month to do them all because I had to make the plaques to start with. He also spent months painting this mural and is glad the vandals didn't target it. Now Randy is removing the vandalized plaques to spend countless additional hours repairing them because he said other veterans fought for the rights of even the ones who did this. They don't understand the meaning. This is for the guys, this is for our brothers that didn't come home, that paid that sacrifice so that they could go out and be stupid and chisel, vandalize stuff up. John says whoever did this needs a lesson in respect. It's like calling the uh, flag of the United States of America just a piece of cloth. Uh, a lot of, lot of blood's been shed to keep people free that that flag flies over. Now Sky Took Police are investigating this as a case of vandalism. They're asking anyone with information to contact them and you can remain anonymous. In Sky Took, Vincent Hill, 2 News.